Hey guys, how's it going this evening? Lone Wolf Lock Picker here. Wanted to jump on and uh, pick a challenge lock for you guys. So today we have uh, Trilockathon pinned up by Pickaholic in 2018. And that says it's got a loose clip on the back so they'll hold the core when you take the key out. <clears throat> There's the bidding on this guy. It is a Wilka brand Euro cylinder. It's got a pretty interesting keyway. Pretty wide open, but still nifty. It was sent to me by Fast Charlie when he sent me a package. He sent this in with it, with a couple locks he sent and some couple others from a couple other guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't pick this guy and see what he put inside. Okay. Wow, that's really sloppy. Floppy, floppy. 50,000 still really sloppy. I've done this on one other lock. I wonder if I put two together, if it'll fit. I think it's too big. Try this one. Ha ha ha. Really helps when you get full control of the core when you can kind of rotate off by yourself and everything. Alrighty, so I'm gonna use a 40 and I'm not quite sure the thickness of the black one. That's the biggest one from sparrows and the skinniest one from sparrows together. So I can have full control over the core. Go ahead and zoom in for you. Okay, right there. <coughs> Use a uh, standard hook in 25 thousandths from Peterson. Or a short hook. Use counterclockwise tension and begin. Nothing on one, nothing on two. I'll move my fingers back, sorry. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Couple clicks on four. Couple clicks on five. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one, counter rotation on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five, nothing on one, up, hit another click on two, and we got an open. Go ahead and zoom back out, get the pinning stuff. Keys, go ahead and lock that sucker up. <clears throat> that out of the way. Let's get into this guy. Alright, what do we got on the back? A C clip. Okay, there's that. Grab a shim. This one looks good. I'm sorry about that, guys. Got a new phone. I don't know if the video improved any with the new phone. <clears throat> but I moved from a uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Active to an S9 Plus. It seems like the camera's a little better. Oh, my key sticks out some, so I'm gonna have to grab a hollow in this one.
Okay, it's not working too well. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's take a look at these key pins. See some funkiness there. <clears throat> and dump them out. There's one. Looks like it's got a spool. Two. We'll take a closer look at them here in a minute. Three, four, and five. And then in the core, crap. We have one, two, three, and four. No. Two, three, four, and five are threaded and one is standard, no undercuts. Go ahead and get all this stuff flipped around there. In the right direction. Okay, we got a spool in one, a lightly serrated in two, lightly serrated in four. Three, lightly serrated in four, and another spool in five, which I will give you guys a close up of those at the end of the video. We're gonna gut from the back because I don't, I hate gutting with uh, hollow followers. <coughs> so we got on five, bunch of deep serrations on that guy. Copper spring. Four we have. <clears throat> nice deep spool. Really long springs in the sky. Another deep serrated. Three. We got a uh, serrated T pin there. Two. We'll go ahead and get one before we can dump the springs out. And then, well, that guy's interesting. I'll show him to you once I get these springs out. And there they are, the same as the other ones. And check up in the core, see if. Did anything up there? Nope. All standard up there. <clears throat> okay, and I will bring these in for a closer look. And then this guy right here, he's got a spool element and then a smaller diameter at the bottom of the spool. That's I've never seen pin like that that's nice and then this T pin here it's definitely nice these cuts are nice and sharp edges are sharp and this serrated here very very nice very deep serrations on that guy and then very light serrations on two three and four and a spool on one and five for the key pins let's go ahead and populate the core and see what I'll comes into play. Okay, take the key out of there. So they all had to be picked, and they all look like they interact pretty well with the serrations on the core and everything. Yep, bad idea. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Put that guy back. I want to give a shout out to Fast Charlie for sending that package to me. I will uh, 
put his link in the description if you guys haven't checked his channel out yet definitely do so and pickaholic awesome to be able to pick your lock man you did a great job on the pins in the lock and uh i'll also throw his link in the description go check his channel out and give him some love guys all right that's all i got for you guys this evening i will see you guys next time have a good one